This is a quick video on how you can mirror different open lock walls using your slicer. I'm going to use the slicer presser edition, but you can use any slicer. It's not necessary that you use this one because all slicers will come with the ability to mirror an STL file. So you can see these STL files here, they're all asymmetric files. In other words, they're not symmetrical in the middle, across the middle axis, which means if you make a mirror of this object, it will increase the perceived variety of your tiles. For example, if I take this tile here and I drag and drop it into the slicer, and I'm going to select mirror. Now, every slicer comes with the ability to mirror, but these uh, controls will be in a different place. In the slicer presser edition, the mirror is on the right-click menu. So you right-click on the model and hit mirror, mirror along the x-axis. But if your model was along the y-axis, you would mirror along the y-axis. So it will either be the x or y-axis. And you can see there, the entire model has just been mirrored. And what that's done is swap the entire geometry backwards. So everything is still in place, but it's a mirror of the, um, of the model. And now if I take the same model again and I bring it in, so if I move it out, It's an exact copy, an exact mirror of the model. And you can use this on any open lock tile. It's a real simple trick to increase the variety of your open lock walls.